Hello guys, back to our discussion of Rentano and intentionality. Uh, as we said in the first video, um, the mental differs from the physical, okay? Uh, positive sciences, you know, like physics, chemistry, cannot understand the mind, okay? The mind differs fundamentally from, you know, physical objects out there. Um, so that's what intentionality is all about you know intentionality is the key thing to understanding the difference between the mental and the physical okay so um to be conscious of something to have a mental experience of something is to have an intentional in existence of an object okay this is essentially what intentionality is and i know this definition is really hard to understand and if you're new to this uh, might be truly truly incomprehensible so let's uh, break this down a little bit more um consciousness um is not consciousness of everything okay um you know kind of like this uh, whole artificial intelligence movement uh it kind of um gives us this picture that our minds our you know thinking is kind of like thinking of everything like if you've seen that movie uh which i'm sure you have you know terminator like uh do you remember kind of uh, seeing things from his point of view like he just has this you know kind of uh, mathematical grid you know like x y axis and he's kind of conscious of everything um well that's not the case we are not conscious of everything okay like um our consciousness is pointed at one specific object at a time usually um you know, we're not kind of conscious of everything like a computer, like, you know, and that's one of the problems with this whole artificial intelligence uh, thing. Uh, like, how do you make a computer, you know, just focus on one thing? And that's what needs to happen in order to have real intelligence, like real human-like um, experience, if you will. Uh, you know, it needs to be focused on one thing. Um, so uh, consciousness is not consciousness of everything and it's not, you know, consciousness of nothing either, um, which uh, perhaps is the case with, you know, the physical, uh, you know, in physical things are not conscious of anything. Um, and if you, you know, think about it, it's a really interesting sort of uh, middle ground, okay? Like we have, let's say, sort of god or artificial intellect which is just conscious of everything everything and then we have physical things which have no consciousness whatsoever like i mean this car key as far as i know he's not conscious of a damn thing and the mental is well it's somehow in between so you know if you think about it you know there's kind of uh you know the spiritual the higher realm you know the you know god or whatever and the purely physical and you know the mind is like right in between it's kind of be between two extreme limits um you know pretty interesting um so consciousness always has a, a specific object that it is conscious of okay not consciousness of everything and not consciousness of nothing it's consciousness of a particular object it's being directed at a specific object it's um it has that object as intentionally in existing okay and this you know that's the way brentano puts it intentional in existence now in existence is a really uh difficult word to understand now on the one hand it means uh, in as an you know invisible like it's negation so it's non-existence on the one hand but on the other hand you know in means uh you know kind of uh, coexisting or you know in can mean sort of uh, 
you know, uh, existing in a different way. Like, um, uh, so in existence, you know, existence in, like existence inside or non-existence. And both are sort of right and both sort of make sense. Um, you know, it, it's a non-existence in the way that the physical things are. That's right. And also it's... Um, and in existence inside, it's existence inside the mind. Think about it, you know, in existence, existence inside the mind. So that's um, pretty much uh, it. Um, the physical is not conscious of anything and the mental is conscious of one thing and that object in exists it exists inside the mind and it does not exist the way that the physical things exist and um, this concept uh, Brentano got from scholasticism okay he did not um, invent this concept um, you know uh, it's a pretty old concept uh, comes from you know scholastic philosophy and he kind of uh, brought it back he reanalyzed it and he thought that these guys got it right